The Great White North fights back against COVID-19. Canadian universities are front and center tackling this crisis and tracing its impact on our lives. This is Universities Fight COVID-19 from Radio Western. Each episode, we tell you about COVID-19 related research and commentary coming out of Canadian universities. Today's episode is from York University. Reports indicate that the Ontario government is quietly setting up an online portal where businesses can ask for regulation or rule changes to help them weather the COVID-19 pandemic. The news confirms previous suspicion. While media and public attention has been focused on COVID-19, major economic interests have been engaging in intense backroom lobbying. In fact, there is intense lobbying going on at the federal level, particularly by the oil and gas industry. In many cases, companies want to convince governments to stay put on existing economic strategies. In other words, maintain the positions of already dominant sectors and corporations. Governments need to respond with caution. Many of the demands have little or nothing to do with the impact of COVID-19. In fact, the pandemic is forcing people to rethink the viability of those businesses and employment models that lobbyists are arguing for a return to. COVID-19 has exposed serious weaknesses of key global supply chains that are supported by workers in increasingly precarious contract jobs. And it turns out that these vulnerable workers have been vitally important in maintaining food supply chains and healthcare systems, for example. And yet, long-term global challenges like climate change, ecological crises in our oceans and on our lands, and the growing divide between the rich and poor continue to persist. In fact, their situation risks getting worse by governments in their response to COVID-19. What about global communication networks? They have helped in managing and sustaining our responses to COVID-19. But there are serious questions about privacy and government surveillance activities that will surely expand far beyond the end of this pandemic. We also need to make sure that corporate behavior and government decisions are transparent and accountable. For example, the Ontario government has suspended the public notice and comment mechanisms for environmental decisions and approvals under Ontario's Environmental Bill of Rights for the duration of COVID-19. But there is no evidence to suggest that these mechanisms were preventing the government to respond effectively to the pandemic. In slightly over a decade, corporations globally are asking for a second government bailout from us, the taxpayers. It is only reasonable that we demand a system that favors democratic governance, transparency, and takes care of its citizens and the planet. This story was adapted from Mark Winfield's conversation article, Governments Must Resist Coronavirus Lobbying and Focus on Long-Term Transformation. Winfield is a professor of environmental studies at York University.